Welcome to We're in This Boat Together, presented by West Wind Sailing. I am your host, Steve Serafino, and today we are going to learn how to rig our Capri 14 sail. On the bow of my boat, I have my main sail that we are going to put onto our mast. As I look at my sail, the first corner that I find is my clue. You cannot sail without a clue. As I start unrolling my sail, you will notice that on the bottom of my sail, known as the foot, just like the bottom of your body, I have a cord that's a little wider than the actual sail. And as I move the sail to the boat, you will notice a groove in the boom. This is where the cord is going to go. Stepping into the boat, always thinking safety first. I line up the clue and the foot to the boom and start feeding my sail. As you notice, my sail is still rolled up, putting undue tension on my sail. Please remember to unroll it so it feeds easy. As you feed it, it should be smooth. If your foot comes out at any time, stop. Rewind a little bit. Make sure that the foot and the cord is going into the boom. You will be stretching the entire foot into the boom until another grommet called my tack comes to the junction of my mast and my boom. This tack will be held down by what we call very simple, a tack pin. The tack pin feeds straight on in with a little wiggle. You do not have to remember righty tighty lefty loosey. And my tack now is tacked down. The next goal I am going to want to do is to get my sail up the mast. As I look up the mast, I need to find an important part of my sail. It's called the head. Remember, the bottom part was the foot, the top is the head. Now, I can grab the corner that's the head. We know it's the head because it wears a helmet. But, question, have you ever put on a shirt inside out, backwards, or buttoned wrong. As I would hoist this sail up, I could be twisted. So please remember, start at your tack and walk up the leading edge of your sail, what we call the luff. As you're doing so, you will feel that the luff has the same cord as the foot. And our mast has the same opening as our boom. Now, grabbing the head, I can push it in, but is this ever going to work? Am I ever going to get it to go all the way up? Unfortunately not. I'm not that tall. In episode one, Diane taught you the halyard. A halyard hoist sails. The halyard on this boat is located on the starboard side of the boat. It runs all the way to the tippy tippy top and shoots out to the end of my boom and actually makes my boom sort of go up. This is where I want to grab. I do have two things holding my boom down one being the main sheet, and one being a silly little line called a boom vang. If you remember from episode one, we have cleats. Cleats hold lines. 
we need these cleats undone to hoist up a sail. As I pull on the halyard now, notice how my boom can go up. Walking to the end of the boom, I have a brass clip and a silver shackle. If you unclip the halyard from the silver or from the brass shack from the brass clip, we now have two separate pieces. In my left hand, the brass clip can clip on to what we call the clue. Please set down your boom gently. The halyard with the shackle, and an easy way to remember the word shackle, is back in the old days when all these names were made up. If you did something wrong, you weren't put into handcuffs, because handcuffs came out later. You were put into shackles. That is exactly what this is. It works like a key, opens and closes to lock. I am going to put the shackle onto the head and after I lock it, I'm going to give it a couple pulls to make sure that it does not come off. Imagine if your halyard goes all the way up, I always say the smallest person goes and gets it. Now, since I am attached, as I pull the starboard halyard, my sail starts going up my mast. In the beginning of all this, what did I attach the foot or the bottom of the sail to? That's right, the boom. As I hoist, what's gonna go up? The boom. Don't let it hit your head. Be very aware of this. As the boom goes up, you sit down. I'm gonna disappear for a little bit as I hoist up this sail, but as you can see, it goes straight on up, nice and easy. Now, as it's hoisted up in the air, I'm not gonna have a crew member stand or sit with a tight halyard. If you remember our cleats, they hold lines. I pull my halyard all the way through what we call our horn cleat. And always remember, over the top first, criss cross, and do your flip turn. As you do your flip turn, your halyard is cleated and the sail is secure. To get rid of or clean up your cockpit, remember to coil small loops. If you wrap your hand, that's fine. Eventually, over time, you will understand coiling. I take my coiled line, stow it between itself and the mast, and now I have a full sail. Thank you for joining us for episode two with West Wind Sailing. Again, I am Steve Serafino, your host. Please check us out at westwindsailing.com for future fun videos, at-home projects, and remember, please wash your hands, be safe to each other, be kind, and remember, we're in this boat together.